1038. Number one. For music and entertainment. Journal, this film looks so cool to be part of. But How I'd would s- you pronounce it? You are terrible, <laughs> Muriel. Ex Machina? Ex That's Machina. Fine. Ex Machina. Yeah, no, you nailed it first time round. I just wanted you to feel uncomfortable. Damn anyway, sorry, what were you, you saying? Sorry. Gonna, well, let's make you feel uncomfortable now. <laughs> <laughs> this film um, is really cool, but I'd say it was an intense shoot. And mm. correct me if I'm right or wrong, was it so intense and you were so frustrated that Alex actually had to pull you aside? To calm you down? Yeah, that did happen, yeah, a couple of times, yeah, yeah. Why? Well, it got, it's, it's just really, it was just a very intense experience. We were doing big, long scenes every day where we're all manipulating each other. But also my character is so, so many things happen to him and you don't realise you don't realise that he's doing stuff until further into the film. So it just felt really passive. I felt like Alicia and Oscar got to do dance scenes and be robots and do crazy things. And I kept on having to listen to people and absorb information and be the audience. And it just started to add up and I just started to get very, very, very frustrated with my place in the film. Alex took me aside a couple of times and just told me that that was my job. You know, that's, that's why he'd hired me, was that I would be able to do that and, um, and, and be the audience and, and, and to be solid enough to get us through all those yeah. moments. Um, but it, yeah, it was an intense experience, but it's, it sounds all very actory, but it, I guess it happens in every job. People get frustrated from time to time. You know? And so does it mean that the three of you weren't hanging out offset, given the intensity of the shoot? No, we did. I mean, like, I, I knew Alicia from before. I'm uh, a big fan of hers. I think she's stunning and wonderful and everything. And we worked very closely, kind of hand in hand on this. Um, with Oscar, it was more complicated. He was playing the alpha. He was in the room. Sometimes he would be alpha when we were going, and sometimes I would be beta, and that was that's really... You know, it's emasculating, and you know, it's it's emasculating for Caleb in the film, but it also when you're on set and it just keeps happening. You know what I mean? Uh, in character, it's like, yeah. oh crap. But no, we did. We went out for drinks, and like Oscar's really good fun. Like he's hilarious. Uh, you know, he, I had a very good time working with him. Um, but yeah, various days it was different. Yeah, yeah. I've got to read this fact, fact in inverted commas, right, that I found on IMDb. I just heard about this earlier. Um, yeah, go. Get ready? Yeah. Donald Gleeson really struggled to make this movie as he's afraid of all technology. In mm-hmm. fact, it's a wonder he's a movie actor at all with all the camera and lights involved in the process. He's much more at home sitting in a room reading by candlelight with his pet pineapple, Wilbur. Yeah. Is that you or one of your mates? I mean, it's definitely not me. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out which one of my friends would have done that. But Wilbur is such a stroke of genius. I also quite like the name Wilbur. Like if I did have a pet pineapple, yeah. I probably would call it Wilbur. So this person obviously knows me. I just don't know where they uh, came up with that uh, madness from. I can't believe it's actually on IMDb, but there but you go. That's even, technology for you. Yeah, it's not even on your page. It's on the Ex Machina page. Oh, good. I, see, that's good. Yeah. I, I prefer it to be on the Ex Machina page rather than my page. That's, that's all right. I'm OK with that. Now, um, before I came here, I was watching the, the music video that you made with your brother. Yeah. You had me in tears. <laughs> cool. Um, and it was also, it was really cool watching you guys, a mixture of mucking around now and mucking around when you were kids. Yeah. Were you guys... It's const- pronounced mashing around now. Oh, would you just stop it already? <laughs> <laughs> but, were you guys constantly putting on performances as kids? No, because that, 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 that sounds awful, doesn't it? No, because that that's like what I was doing, like, but I'm not oh, in right, your okay. position right now. No, it, yeah, we had, like, the, Dad got a camcorder after he made Braveheart, so, yeah. so we had a camcorder in the house, we were able to make some little movies and stuff. And Brian was always such a good actor. He was always able to just go to this imagine, imaginative place so easily. And then I looked back on it and just thought, I loved this Squarehead song and we just thought it would be fun to go and do it. And it's funny now because we get to do it every night. We're doing this play together, so we get to do that every night on stage as well now. And um, I'll be very sad when it's over, you know? Will you really? I'll Have be, you enjoyed working with the family? I loved every second yeah. of it. I'm learning a lot. I'm having the best time of my life on stage. It's a very difficult play to actually get through. It's very physical um, with the boys, but it's like, yeah, I, I'm as proud of this as anything that I've ever been involved with, for sure. You must be sick to death mm. of all the Star Wars questions. I'm not even going to bother asking you anything about it. What sure. I do want to know is, how do you keep the secret? You just don't open your mouth too much. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, like it's... Um, also, I quite like keeping the secret. I don't want anybody to know. So it's nobody, not like I'm dying to tell people. Like nobody, not even no, one no, person? No, no, that would be a mistake. Yeah. Really? Brian, my brother, told me early. He said, you can't tell one person. Not even your brother. Otherwise, you'll tell two people. 
and then it's just uh, you know and then everybody knows and then yeah. disney are calling you and they're not happy at all <laughs> so uh, no yeah the secret is to just keep your cards close to your chest i think that photo that they released when they announced the cast mm. that was so cool what it was, was cool. it like for you walking into that room going oh my god am i really here yeah it was, that was the exact feeling it was crazy to look around and see all those people but uh, I wish I just sat slightly more sideways in my chair so my face was actually in the damn picture. <laughs> but um, no, it was cool. It was very cool. And uh, it was a brilliant day. A mad day, but a brilliant day. So, um, And it just got better from there, you know. So, Daniel, are you auditioning for anything anymore or are you just having people throw scripts at you? I have a nice mixture of both now, which is cool, uh, you know. Um, but I auditioned for Ex Machina uh, very hard for it because um, I wanted it. and. Was very lucky to have gotten it, but but um, yeah, no, I, I get both things happening now, which is cool. It's great to see you in so many things. Can't wait to see you in all of them. But in the meantime, we can check you out in this film. In what film? <laughs> Ex Machina. Well, it was quiet, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Spin one zero three eight number one for music and entertainment.